Let's go. Okey dokey. Okey dokey. Hi, I can't stop thinking about that now. Now I want to go. Now I want to go play it. Damn it! Well, you have a physical cartridge, don't you? So. I do, yeah. All right. Who's doing the narration? In the year twenty-one, all the Mavericks have been neutralized thanks to the efforts of a Reploid scientist named Doctor Doppler. That name's dumb. Using his nev neuro computer, he has been able to suppress. <laughs> He's been able to suppress any abnormal behavior in the reploids and prevent them from going berserk. I wasn't sure if that was a U or a V. It's like, never. Oh, never mind. Many of the most advanced reploids have gathered near their new mentor and found a doppel town. <laughs> That's dumb. A perfect utopian <laughs> community. Welcome to X3. <laughs> With Dr. Doppler gu gu guiding them, the world Please, seemed yeah. ready to enter a new golden age. I was almost said gavitting. I'm like, stop that. <laughs> Good. After a few months, the Mavericks who were supposed to have been neutralized by the neuro computer suddenly appeared and began to riot. Oh, look, it's Robo Eggman. At Maverick Hunter headquarters, all the intelligence indicated that Dr. Doppler was the mastermind behind the invasion. So was Mr. X. Shock! Yeah. Soon, the call went out to X and Zero to destroy the invading Mavericks and to bring Dr. Doppler to justice. Justice! I read that in Quark's voice. Yes. Greetings, cadets! Maverick Hunter X and Zero. Dispatch! A few hours later, emergency contact was made by the headquarters of Maverick Hunter. I love Capcom translations. <laughs> <laughs> Legs go, Lan. What a, ni what a nice, helpful young man she was. Battle Network 4 is by far the uh, worst. Infamous. <laughs> yeah. This is the headquarters of Maverick Hunter. That's a fucking direct translation from French. <laughs> we are under attack from the Doppler Force. This is the shirt blue. All units return to base immediately and retire and fire. In which order? This is a very long intro, by the way. <laughs> it is. Um, I suppose you should probably mention the fact that there is a PS1, I think Saturn version of this as well, that has like FMV cutscenes for all this shit. And an inferior That's... soundtrack. Ah. <laughs> That's the demo. Ready. <laughs> oh, okay. So welcome to Mega Man X3, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids and squids. Uh, in case anyone's wondering why it took so long to get to this after X2, it's because it was never released on the Wii. We never got the PS1 Mega Man games on the PSN because uh, Sony hates Europe and giving us games. Especially PS1 classics. Usually two years late and inferior. Um, and, well, you know, I can't do a good Zero voice. X, I'll clear out the enemies out here. I can't do it either. Okay. What am I fighting for? That's X4. I was <laughs> I was thinking do I was thinking do your best Silver the Hedgehog impression. No, that's X. <laughs> I, I'm not totally wrong. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> you say that. Did you, have you heard the voice acting in X4? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and X7, he's a bunch little bitch in that too. Um Uh. Okay, so X3 actually got rid of that uh, in X1 and 2, if you dashed while shooting it did double damage. Uh, not anymore. Okay, so they fixed it. Yeah.
silver, silver, silver. I need Chris for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's no juice. <laughs> uh, it's fair use. <laughs> it's pompous. <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I need I need a voice for X. I'm not going to do Mega Man 8 Mega Man because I can't squeeze my nuts that hard. Uh, <laughs> fuck it, I'll make him... No, I won't make him Dr. Light. Dr. Light's in this game. Stupid. Um, I'll make him Sylvester Sloan. Sure. The <laughs> <We're in. laughs> Okay, I'm going to make this guy one of the Beatles. Why not? I can't do that either. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this guy is a maverick hunter. <sighs> so usual maverick spiel, basically. There's not a lot going on with this dude. He has a cool teleport animation though. Yes. Oh, speaking of cool things X3 does. Hello Zero. Zero has a knack for jumping out of ceilings. So Zero actually has this. A charge a charge shot? Oh yeah. Are you talking about the saber? He has the charge shot, he has the double charge shot. But uh, okay. if you charge it all the way up to green, you have a instant kill Z Saber. Huh. Instant kill <laughs> Z Saber. You know, I'm keeping hold of this. I think it's instant kill. Does a fuckload of damage at least. Oh, you're supposed to go that way. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And save X. Jesus, I'm okay. There's no more So the thing with Zero is and the game doesn't really tell you this, which I kinda of find a bit shit. Um, he can't pick up any power ups for X or anything. But if you press R while on the pause menu, there's this. Now this doesn't mean anything now, because reasons. But uh, once per stage up until you go through a door, for like a mini-boss room, you can use zero. However, if you lose a life as zero, gone. You can't use them for the stage anymore? You can't use them for the game. Oh. Because this game has multiple endings, like X2 did. Um, oh. It's what happens in the final stages is dependent on a number of things. Um... There hey, is... Look, it's the Kyo Dai Eggman robo. Yeah, you know, usual intro stage boss, big, doesn't do much damage, kind of dumb, deceased. <laughs> um, so the final stages differ, kind of, in terms of boss fights and like some of the aesthetic, based on what you do in the game. There are two characters three characters who will be introduced after we beat two Mavericks that you are guaran you're guaranteed to fight two of them throughout the game because in the stages there'll be these like mini boss rooms that are empty and there's a chance as you're going through that they'll spawn in one of them. Mm -hmm. If you defeat them with their weakness it kills them there and if you kill both of the two characters who appear in the eight stages with their weakness, it destroys them for good, and you get a different boss at the end of the first fortress stage. If you go to the secret stage and kill the boss there with his weakness, it actually drastically affects the second fortress stage, changes the boss at the end, and gives you a mini boss you can fight with zero in that stage. That if you fight with zero, will result in X getting the Z Saber. Fancy. Yeah. Personally, 
I don't kill them with the weaknesses <laughs> because the giant electric squid thing isn't that interesting and the acid spewing trash compactor isn't that interesting either. All right then. So yeah, we'll get to that. So where do you want to start? Uh, hmm. Is that my away? Hmm? Yeah, I put it away. I'll be right back. <laughs> Where's my dice? <laughs> Oh wait, there's eight of them. I thought there were only six. Six? What is it? Mega Man one? <laughs> I was somehow like counting the middle of something else. Okay, so let's see. I will. The one on the top right. This one? Yeah. Alright folks, we're starting off with... I can't remember his name. <laughs> Birdman. Okay, fine. Tornado Eagle. Toxic Seahorse? Okay. Oh, this guy. Okay. Also, one thing you'll notice about this game's music, people say it's awfully generic. I actually remember a lot of the tracks in this game because this guitar sample is sexy. <laughs> that is all I'm going to say about that. I love this Delicious. game's sound font. I think, yeah, the compositions are worse than X1. But the sound font is good. Mm. So yeah, Toxic Seahorse. We're in some sort of dam. So, or, a, or a sewer. I think it's actually meant to be a dam. Um, so here's how this game works. You are backtracking kind of, a lot. <laughs> what kind of dam looks like this? Uh, wait till we get to the outside. Oh. It's like a water treatment facility, that kind of thing. Um, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Basically, every stage has three collectibles. Every stage has a heart tank, obviously. Same as ever. That exclusive your life. By two, right? Two? Yeah, I think so. Um, in the SNES games, I know it's two. Uh, speaking of heart tanks. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, two. Um, there will be a Dr. Light capsule in every stage. Now, four of them are blue capsules. That are the, 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 the capsule. That are the armor upgrades, as usual. Mm -hmm. Then there is upgrades for each of those parts, which are mm, optional and not really worth it because there's a upgrade you get in the fortress stages that is your ultimate upgrade gives you all four of those at once. Because the red capsule upgrade, you can only choose one of. Oh. Also, there's this. And sub tanks as well. That we'll get to later. Yeah, because like nothing happened. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that later. Uh, unlocking all, all of those is a bit awkward. Uh, anyway, there is a. I believe we need a ride armor. Yeah, we do to get another ride armor all the way up here because we can't go all that way because of the current. Oh, ride armor! I heard ride on. Like what? <laughs> One of them might as well be a fucking Rhydon. Because <laughs> that platform is for ride armors. Mm. One per stage, you can spawn any ride army you want. Nice. Also, we have a mini boss. It looks like Squidward. <sighs> or a budget launch octopus. Oh, he's dead. Deed. I am deaded. Send cake. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not back, send toast. Is he gonna drop health? Yeah. Yeah. Capture cards, the capture cards having a really tough time today. It's like the frame drops. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like recording at 60. Yeah, after this stage, we'll put it into. 30 FPS, why not? See if it does any better. Then I can go get my subsequent E yeah. on the transition. Uh... Whoop. Also, uh, just like the other X games, some enemies do change after beating certain bosses. 
Like these guys, they end up weaker after you beat a boss. Uh, some stages have obstacles that are removed if you beat a certain boss first, that kind of thing. Mm. It's nowhere near as substantial though. And I think it all revolves around one boss in particular, so... Is it base? No. Ah. In the X-Series? <laughs> it's, it's number three. That's true. So, um, one common complaint people have about this game is the boss fights are really simple. Especially if you use their weakness. If you use their weakness, you hit them, they're stunned, they move to the left, hit them with the weakness, they move to the right, hit them with the weakness, move to the left. <laughs> if you don't, they can be a little tricky. The toxic Seahorse isn't terrible. I mean, the thing to watch out for is the... Oh, the slowdown. The uh, splash from his... Oh, he does this as well. He's acid armor. He's invincible while he's doing that. Ow. You can tell I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> or yep. ever with a pro controller. Oh, Jesus, he just pegged me in the face. <laughs> Smack. Ow. That actually kind of felt mean. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I don't normally fight Toxic Seahorse first. But when we came here, we did get a heart tank, so that's always a good thing. You missed. Fuck it. Fuck charge shots, that's just... Rapid fire the bitch. Much more effective this way, yeah. Because I can butter mash like a pro. Show up. By all means, don't do anything else. <laughs> oh, one thing about this game, enemies hurt like a fucking truck. Mm. Like, really hard. Yeah. Is there a life counter in this game? Yes. Oh wait, yeah, there is. I saw it. We're playing a Mega Man game. <laughs> this is like some sort of water treatment visit. I don't know what this is. It's a thing. Ah, uh, you missed. Yeah, getting rid of his bubbles as he shoots from his chest is really easy. That's probably the better way to do it. Ow. That didn't work. I guess uh, after a certain time he doesn't launch before he just throws him up. Yeah, they do get like pinch attacks. And there were two of them. Also, while wow, your health is like almost gone. You bitch! Right, you show up so I can fucking shoot you. Fuck off. Hallelujah, there's a god. <laughs> and we get a weapon. Get a quick with! I missed the days when it said that. <laughs> so yeah, that that's it. <laughs> that's kind of boring. I mean, if you hit it on a wall, it kind of rains down on them, so there's that. Mm-hmm. Alright, folks, next time I'm going to fix the frame rate and all kinds of stuff. <laughs>